Is something wrong with your neck? Oh, yeah. I must have hurt it when... Ah! Better? Yeah. Hey, I just learned how to do that. An Arapaho medicine man. Get out of here. Born and raised with him. My father was an army medic. He settled down in the Kansas Territory after he met my mother. No kidding. Nope. I got a sheep skin from Howard U and a bear skin from old Iron Cloud. Halfway through medical school, I was drafted. One day, I'm studying gross anatomy in the classroom. The next, I'm sewing up Rough Riders on San Juan Hill. Main core. I couldn't uh, eat I another bite. I'm not don't watching make my way. Oh, 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 don't you worry. It'll keep and keep and keep. Thank God I lost my sense of taste years ago. Aren't you going to pitch up to your tent? Uh, I did. I guess I'm still a little rusty at this. I haven't gone camping since, well, since the last time my grandpa took me. I never got to meet your grandfather. What was he like? Where did he start? He was like a father to me, really. My parents died when I was a little kid, and he took me in. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just thinking. One time when I, when I was eight, we were hiking along this stream. And I saw something shining in the water. It was a genuine arrowhead. Well, you'd think I'd found a lost civilization the way Grandpa carried on about it. It wasn't until I was older that I realized that the arrowhead was just some compressed shale mixed with zinc pyrite that had fractured into an isosceletic triangulate. <laughs> it, it's so cute. Say, Audrey, I, no, no offense, but how did a teenager become the chief mechanic of a multi-million dollar expedition? Well, I took this job when my dad retired. But the funny thing was, he always wanted sons, right? One to run his machine shop, and the other to be middleweight boxing champion. But he got my sister and me instead. So, wh what happened to your sister? She's 24, I know, with a shot at the title next month. Anyway, I'm saving up so my papi and I can open another shop. Forget your jammies, Mrs. Packard. I sleep in the nude. You're gonna want a pair of these. She sleepwalks. Well, as far as me goes, I just like to blow things up. Come on, Benny. Tell the kid the truth. My family owned a flower shop. We would sell roses, carnation, baby's breath, you name it. One day, I'm making about three dozen corsages for this pram. You know, the one they put on their wrist. And everybody, they come. Where is it? When is it? Does it match my dress? It's a nightmare. Anyway. I guess there was this leak next door of gas or what. Boom! No more Chinese laundry. Blew me right through the front window. It was like a sign from a god. I found myself that boom. What's Mole's story? Trust me on this one. You don't want to know. Audrey, don't tell him. You shouldn't have told me, but you did. And now I'm telling you, you don't want to know. <laughs> 